This episode will be completely taken out of context. Welcome to the Fact Check This podcast. All right, Fact Check This daily. And uh, I've talked about gun control legislation and stuff like that a few times on the daily stuff. I've got a, a new article that uh, touches on some gun control stuff. So let's go ahead and jump right into that. U.S. judge strikes down Missouri gun law as unconstitutional. And this isn't a gun control law. This one is actually a, well, kind of. Let's see. Let's We'll just go into it. A Missouri law banning local police from enforcing federal gun laws is unconstitutional and void, a federal judge ruled Tuesday. U.S. District Judge Brian Wimes ruled the 2021 law is preempted by the federal government under the U.S. Constitution's Supremacy Clause. At best, this statute causes confusion amongst state law enforcement officials who are deputized for federal task force operations, and at worst, is unconstitutional on its face, Wimes wrote. Missouri's Republican Attorney General Andrew Bailey, in a statement, said he will appeal the ruling. As Attorney General, I will protect the Constitution, which includes defending Missourians' fundamental rights to bear arms, Bailey said. We are prepared to defend this statute to the highest court, and we anticipate a better result at the Eighth Circuit. So, before I continue with this, effectively what this um, what this Missouri law stated was that uh, local police, sheriffs, state uh the missouri state police they didn't have to enforce uh federal gun laws they would they would enforce the laws of the state of missouri not whatever the the federal government put forward so in the event that a sweeping gun ban went went into effect that came down from say the uh, senate or house and senate or a, an executive order or something like that in the event of something like that missouri would not enforce that they would ban local police and law enforcement from uh enforcing those federal laws. I I'm trying to remember. I've seen this judge Wimes before. Uh, I think the, the name sounds really familiar. I think he usually. I think he might actually be a uh, an Obama uh, uh, appoint appointee. But this will go to this will get bumped up to the like I said to the eighth. Uh, the Eighth Circuit, which tends to be more conservative leaning, and uh, they'll probably get better results as a as a result of of that. Because this isn't this isn't going to end. Like there is a there is a pretty significant precedent to be set with this, and how much rights do the states have to deny uh federal mandates and this is gonna this is gonna be a pretty big deal it's gonna it's going to dictate the direction that conversation goes and honestly i would i kind of hope it goes all the way to the supreme court i feel like they would probably with the current iteration of the supreme court they're probably going to uh rule on the side of states rights and and permit it but it may it may uh it may end at the eighth, but I, I feel like the uh the people who are in support of strict gun regulation are going to push this as far as they can and try to get their own outcome. Unless they unless it does get upheld in the eighth and then uh they realize that that it would be a waste of time to keep pushing it, but they don't understand uh when to say when so who knows they might keep keep going with them let's finish up the article 
The Missouri law had subjected law enforcement agencies with offers, officers who knowingly enforce federal gun laws without equivalent state laws to a fine of $50,000 per violating officer. I don't understand how that's a uh, a penalty. You're just going to take the tax dollars that you were giving them back. So uh, that doesn't make any sense, but hey, whatever. Uh, federal laws without similar Missouri laws include statutes covering weapons registration and tracking and possession of firearms by some domestic violence offenders. Conflict over Missouri's law wrecked a crime-fighting partnership with U.S. attorneys that Missouri's former Republican Attorney General, now Senator Eric Schmidt, touted for years. Under Schmidt's Safer Streets initiative, attorneys from his office were deputized as assistant U.S. attorneys to help prosecute violent crimes. The Justice Department, which last year sued to overturn the Missouri law, said the Missouri State Crime Lab, operated by the Highway Patrol, refused to process evidence that would help federal firearms prosecutors after the law took effect. Good. Fuck the feds. Don't help them with anything. The city of St. Louis, St. Louis County, and Jackson County also filed a separate lawsuit over the gun law, which is pending. Of course, St. Louis files... A, a lawsuit over anything that's pro second amendment for as much violent crime as what happens in St. Louis, you would think they would be like all about, yes, we should arm everybody because obviously we can't take care of you, but no, that's not, that's not the broken brains don't work for the liberals. They said in a joint statement that they were encouraged by the ruling and complained about the passage of dangerous bills that make it more difficult to prevent gun violence in our communities. Hey, fucking St. Louis, if you want to prevent gun violence in your community, why don't you go fucking do something about it? Because you know what's not preventing gun violence in your community? Any of the gun register gun restrictions that you currently have. Figure it the fuck out. Obviously, that doesn't work. It's a moron that keeps beating their head against the wall and hoping for a better outcome than the headache. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas, meanwhile, described the decision in a tweet as a monumental defense for the, of the safety of our families, our police, and our neighborhoods. The city is planning to file a brief in support of the pending lawsuit detailing its opposition to the law. Concerns about the law led the Missouri Information and Analysis Center under the Highway Patrol to stop cooperating with federal agencies investigating federal firearm offenses, and the Highway Patrol, along with many other agencies, suspended joint efforts to enforce federal firearm laws. Yes! That's a win. Wimes said police can now work with federal partners without worrying about breaking the law, uh, the voided law. Nah, fuck that. Don't do that. State and local law enforcement officials in Missouri may lawfully participate in joint federal task force assist in the investigation and enforcement of federal firearm crimes and fully share information with the federal government without fear of HB 85's penalties. Several Missouri prosecutors had testified against the bill, saying it jeopardized investigations and prosecutions against serious offenders while exposing state and local officers to civil liability. Given today's ruling, Missouri prosecutors and our state and local law enforcement partners look forward to again utilizing federal assistance when appropriate and apprehend and punish violent offenders who endanger the citizens of our state. Police and prosecutors will return to their work without fear of losing their jobs or being held liable personally to criminal offenders simply because they are doing vital work to keep our communities safe. You know, if they were actually prosecuting real criminals with this stuff then maybe that'd be the case but by and large that's not what they do uh, republican lawmakers who helped pass the bill said they were motivated by the potential for new gun restrictions under democratic president joe biden who signed the most sweeping gun violence bill in decades last year the federal legislation toughened background checks for the youngest gun buyers, keeps firearms from more domestic violence offenders, and helps states put in place red flag laws that make it easier for authorities to take weapons from people adjudged to be dangerous. Except that they don't actually do that. They don't actually take guns from people who are dangerous. In fact, they fund them and buy them the same fucking AR-15 kit and ensure that they go on a shooting spree. It's only happened like, I don't know, four times over the last year and a half. 
Like Missouri was right. Missouri was absolutely right to not cooperate with the feds in any of this stuff. And hopefully this thing goes to appeal and hopefully the appeal uh, holds and it remains in effect because fuck the feds. Fuck them. They don't deserve any help. It's Our states should have the right to say no. We are not going to do whatever the federal government says. Stuff. So. It's the whole point of states' rights. And it was the whole point of the Civil War was to prove that the states don't have the rights to do anything that they want. That's for another day, though. That'll be it for today. I will be back tomorrow. Also, be sure to check out the new episode of The Empty Tomb tomorrow when it comes out. Uh, thank you all for your support, and I will see you then. <laughs>